need a new edge on that blade. She's old. This thing's ancient. I had this forever. Check that old girl out. Hey, the best defense. Uh, American Eagle. I don't know what they call it. Had that thing since I was a kid. Okay, I'll come straight to it. I know what's in here. You guys need to see what this guy sent me. You guys need to go see him and subscribe to his channel because he knows a lot, man. Look at this. What the hell? I feel like cold trickle here. Are you kidding me, bud? There's just a couple slot cars, man. Look at that. What is that, 65? 64, 65, 66 maybe? I don't know. Put it in the comments. Sweet old truck, man. Sweet old truck. Sweet hockey mask. Hey. Spitfire. Hell yeah. Check this out. Another skull for the old purple destroyer. Old gopher broke. AKA hand grenade. AKA gopher broke. No, that's it's that's the truck name. Gopher broke. Oh trying to get some things done here and get you guys a video. I know it's been a while, but I've been fighting with problems and blowing up trucks and surgeries and all the other baloney that comes along with good old arm A rheumatoid. But today I'm gonna get you guys a video. Hmm? What do you think? Installation bed? I think so. Hold on. What the heck's going on here? Huh. Huh. So what do you figure, you guys? I think old uh, Chris at Ironhead Garage saw my little tiny tack and laughed at that and said, I'll send this guy a real tack. Oh, brother. Thank you, man. But Oh, and just for people out there saying, that's a stupid spot. Yes, it is. I know. This is only for testing purposes because there's bigger plans. This tack ain't going in here because they got a problem with thieves and vandals in this area. And uh, she's just going to stay like this for now. Till I get my testing done and she's going to go back in the house and sit in the shelf. Where nobody can get at it unless they come through me first. And I tell you, that's not going to work very well for them. So, anyway, that's just going to hang there for a minute. She's bolted. She can't fall on the floor, so it ain't going to break. But I'm going to take out my little tack here. Throw that one under the hood for tuning purposes, I guess. Yeah? Or maybe in this. No, I got one for the 68. But yeah, this bad boy is going to be a permanent fixture in the old bogger. Remember, you guys, they don't have to be pretty. They just got to go fast. Hold on a second. Oh, I guess I could just show you guys the next process here. A little bit to wiggle this little bugger out because all I got is tape holding her in there, kind of wedged in there. Has a little bit of a fight, especially with my gibble gold mitts. But there you go. I just wrapped a couple wraps of tape around there, whole side clean, and you get the idea. I already had this apart too, so you guys saying, "Oh, look, it's all loose back there." No, I actually took it apart. So anyway, we're gonna do a quick test. Hook this bad boy up, and I wonder what else is planned. Hold on, boys. Okay, we're patched in, we're patched in. I got the tack good to go. Just uh, stuff these up out of the way for now. I know you're thinking this is just looking like a haywire outfit. Well, I just don't care right now. Winter is here if you haven't noticed. Snow's on the ground, trying to get ready for winter. And trying to get you guys this video, but the snow hit too hard, too quick, and too fast. And well, when that happens, I go for shit. So, anyway, hold on, boys, hold on. Oh, what is that serious hardware, boys? Solid roller. Should we make some noise? Uh oh. Uh oh. Is it ready for a test fire? I mean, look at that. Is that not a, just a mess of wiring? <laughs> well, let's see if she'll fire, boys. Here we go. Hopefully this uh, flex plate will 
Give me enough out of her to get her running for you guys. Test my oil pressure down here. She's all wrapped up there with wire right now, but. Come on, ring gear. Let's make some noise, boys. We'll just hook up this to that. And then to that. Let's give you guys a show. A fail. Well, just as I figured. I mean, she was almost there again. Shouldn't have left it sit for so long, but my not a race fuel ain't cheap, you guys. That's ridiculous, and yeah. Well, flex plate is done. Well, whatever was left of the teeth are now laying in the inspection pan. And well. I was seeing 60 PSI oil pressure and I was just cranking it with a half dead battery so I know the oil pressure is good after I did the bearings and the rods and crank. Um, yeah. Well that sucks. I ain't doing no flex plates. I ain't no shape to be pulling no engine so I guess that's the end of that. Maybe I'll drop the starter and have a sneak peek, seeing as how it's a nice light little mini starter. She ain't like those old school 80 pound, don't drop them on your head starters. Eh. Well, this just bites. Oh well. Oh well. I was expecting it. 
Maybe if I had the timing closer to dialed in, I wouldn't uh, had her blow up on me, or the flex plate, but like I said, I was expecting it. I even got uh, got the part number ready ordered, well not ordered, but ready to order whenever I do decide to. But she's coming back out again anyway, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know.